one, it's Amazing Buys, where we discuss shopping, fragrance, and do reviews. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe. And let's get started with our recent fragrance review. I was at Walmart today, you will notice that from my shorts, but I noticed that they had new fragrances in from Bodycology. If you aren't familiar with Bodycology, they're like an affordable fragrance brand that Walmart has had since like forever. I remember Bodycology from growing up. They've been in Walmart for a very long time. So every now and then they come out with limited edition scents. So they just came out with some holiday ones for the fall and winter time. So I wanted to go over that with you guys. And again, it's at Walmart. It's affordable. And in my honest opinion, I think it could be like a Bath and Body Works dupe. A lot of their stuff is. So if you haven't heard of it, that is Bodycology at Walmart. Usually they go around for $3.97 for their body mist, and then they also have lotions, body wash, body scrubs, and they recently start coming out with candles in certain fragrances, so definitely check that out if you're interested. Again, it is affordable. So with that being said, we are going to go over the new limited edition ones that they had that I seen in Walmart today. For the first one, it's Bodycology Feeling Flannel. And this one was definitely a holiday scent. The fragrance notes for this one is White Lavender, Fluffy Musk, and Grapefruit. I will say that smelling this, it reminds me of a holiday scent. It definitely reminds me of a Bath & Body Works fragrance. I know that they have their version of flannel, but I feel like with Bath & Body Works, it smells very cozy, like, almost like a sweater, I guess you can say, with Bath & Body Works. This one, even though it's not listed in the notes, I feel like there's balsam or fur somewhere in there. That was my opinion on it. It definitely has the musk in it. It could be that lavender but grapefruit. I don't get at all. Before I get to the next one, I do want to mention that because this is like on the affordable, cheap side, these fragrances, you are going to get a blast of alcohol when you first spray them. But as it settles down, then you'll start noticing the different notes and the real scent, if that makes sense. So for the next one, I was very excited to try this. This is called Winter Vanilla. Now... On the front of it, it says Midnight Blueberry and Vanilla. I was so excited to, you know, try that because I don't know, you don't really get blueberry notes in fragrances, um, not recently at least. So I was pretty excited to try this. So the notes are Warm Vanilla, Jasmine, and Sandalwood. Blueberry's not listed in there, but it clearly says it on the front. But unfortunately, I was kind of let down because spraying it, you don't really smell blueberry. If it's in there, it is hidden all the way back there. Definitely, this was like a floral vanilla scent. It wasn't anything really new. It wasn't even really that warm of a scent. But I try to keep in mind that these are on the affordable side, so you're not going to get that blast of fragrance and projection as far as like, you know, Bath & Body Works or other body mist. I was just a little bit disappointed because I didn't get that blueberry note. On to the next one, we have Cozy Firesides More. So the notes for this one are marshmallow, sandalwood, and a hint of milk chocolate. It pretty much says that on the front of it too. It says smoky marshmallow, sandalwood, and chocolate. I've heard some people compare this to, I think it's called By the Fireside at Bath & Body Works. I have personally haven't smelled that before, so I'm hoping with the winter sass or even like with the holidays coming up that maybe they will return that because I'm really interested in smelling that. So I can't really compare it to that, but from what I did smell, it, it does have that chocolate and like roasted marshmallow scent. It kind of smells ambery. It's like a warm, toasty scent. But it's the chocolate is kind of like, again, it's something that's in the background. This isn't really strong. You do get that super blast of alcohol <laughs> with this one. I think this one was probably one of my favorite ones that I smelled today. And... But if it's something by Bath & Body Works that smells similar to this, 
I would go with the Bath and Body Works because this did not last long. I tried this in the store and this is going to disappear really quickly. Probably all of them are going to disappear really quickly. So it'll probably be something that you would have to keep in your purse or your bag. I mean, it was a nice scent. I just feel like there could be better. So if you can't afford something else and this is in your price range, I would say go for it. But I mean, with the semi-annual sales and even some of the stuff that like Victoria's Secret has, I think... I would go with those. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So for the next one, we have Chilled Bubbly. Now this one has notes of festive fruits, sparkling champagne, golden vanilla, and sugared woods. Um, this was probably my second favorite. Now as far as the alcohol smell, the, it was strongest in this one in the opening. I mean, it was really strong <laughs> to the point where I had to wait like a minute and then smell it because... I didn't get any of the woods. I got a bit of vanilla, but it had like that fruity champagne smell, if that makes sense. I really like this one. I felt like it was bright. It's something that you can pretty much wear all year. It doesn't have to necessarily be like a holiday thing. But um, on the front, it says night jasmine and starry vanilla. I don't know why. The notes is different on the front versus the back, but this is part of the limited edition ones that came out. I think this one is really nice. I think you can wear it like all day. So this one and the s'more ones, I feel like it was a tie as far as my favorites. The other ones, yeah. And then for the last one that I tried, this one isn't new, but I just wanted to compare it to that winter vanilla one. This one is the Whipped Vanilla. So the notes for this are creamy florals and warm vanilla. And then on the front of it, it says creamy florals and warm vanilla. Yeah, pretty much it's the same thing on the front. It was a nice vanilla. It kind of reminded me of, you see how Tree Hut has that sweet cream body butter that I showed in my previous video? It smells like that mixed with vanilla, but a lot lighter obviously so I think this one was pretty good so if you don't mind the blast of alcohol again in the beginning I think these are pretty good buys and of course like I said $3.97 for the body mess if you're looking for like a cheap affordable gift to get someone they have the whole body line care along with the candles so that was pretty much it for the body ecology and also they had new scent theories that I'm going to show right here. All of these smelled good. These are actually known for dupes for Bath and Body Works. So usually the names are kind of similar, but in my opinion, all of these smelled really good. So definitely check that out. This is in the hygiene section where you can find like the soaps and body mists and stuff like that. Body washes. It's all in that area of Walmart. So that is pretty much it for my review. Check that out if you're looking for something affordable. And like I said, my favorite definitely was Cozy Fireside S'more and the Chilled Bubbly. I just want to show you guys this quick. Did you guys see Trader Joe Geek's post about the Brazil Nut Body Trio that Trader Joe's is coming out with? I am excited for this. If you guys remember, I did a review on these products and I really enjoyed it. So this is a dupe for Sol de Janeiro 62, which is like the most popular fragrance that they have. So if Sol de Janeiro is a little bit pricier for you, this is a great dupe. And this is going to be for $12.99. Now, upon doing some research, they did have some holiday sets that came out in the previous years. I think last year it was $9.99. But I am definitely excited to try this. So this one comes with a body butter, body mist, and body oil. I haven't tried Trader Joe's body mist and body oil, but this is a definite must try. So look out for this. It's coming soon. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I'm so happy that my channel is growing and I can't wait to do more reviews for you guys. That's all I have. Thank you for watching. Bye.